So do we have bad electricity, good electricity? Everybody uses electricity. Everyone in Los Angeles, from the mayor of Los Angeles to ordinary people, they use electricity. They use a refrigerator, microwave, computer, they charge their cell phones, TV, refrigerator, whatever you need, you use electricity to, to use your appliances. And that electricity is the same electricity. They're not sending a better, higher kind of an electricity to the mayor of the city or to the palace in Norway or in Sweden, to King's Palace, a better kind of electricity than sending it to your home. It's the same electricity that runs through everything. It's the same power source. Same thing for us. We're all being run by the living spirit. That living spirit is pure. There is no impurity in the living spirit in any human being, no matter who they are, no matter what they do. Within them is the same living spirit that is everywhere. So you want to go beyond because you want to merge your consciousness to the oneness then you have to go beyond the appearance what appears to be evil and something against your wishes and you don't like it you need to go beyond that you have to evolve above above it so if you're st stuck here in good and bad and this is good this is bad i like this i don't like this these are evil these are not then you're in the loop you're not out of the loop you have to get out of the loop so to get out of the loop something needs to change it means your perception has to change it's your perception it's how you see it Similarly, you can see like you are with your sister, you're with your brother, you are with your son, daughter, dad, mom, and you're in a situation somewhere and everybody's having a good time and you're suffering. Everybody's dancing to this music, enjoying that food, but you're suffering. So... What is it that everybody likes and you are suffering and you're not enjoying it? It's your taste, it's the way you look at it, it's the smell, it's your perception of a good time versus a bad time. So it's the perception that you have to change. Not geographical place, not the world, don't waste your time trying to change the world or wishing a better world, okay? The world has been this mess always. It's always been like this. This is how it is, this world. Forget about fixing this world. It's hopeless. I wouldn't even give it a try because I waste my time and my energy and my life. Change yourself. It's an inside job shift your perception that's a lot easier than trying to correct the world the world has millions of millions of screwed up things in it so many things are wrong in the world forget about changing that change yourself can you change yourself if you can change yourself you have the right to ask for change in the world but if you can't even change yourself, you don't have any rights asking for change in the world because you can't even change yourself, let alone asking other people and other things to change. So let's see if you can do that. Challenge yourself. So the number one thing is you have to change your perspective. So you look at every human being, you pull their mask away and you look inside them 
and you look and you look for God, you look for the living spirit. And you see, you look at the living spirit. And that living spirit is exactly your own living spirit. Because you remember, there's only one electricity powering all our appliances. There's no different electricities. Even if it's nuclear power, it doesn't matter. It's the same power that powers your appliances. So it's the same living spirit. So you shift the way you look at things. Okay? Are we together so far? Are you here? Are you with me? I don't want you to just get hypnotized or get spaced out. If you have a question, you can raise your hand and we talk about it. I will, I will get more in details. So you shift your, the way you look and then you start seeing, okay, I'm seeing this evil person. I'm looking at whomever you find evil whatever, evil corporations, evil, um, the oil cartels, the um, Anunnaki, the, the Illuminati, the deep state, the bad guys, the good guys, you pull their mask away and you look that, oh my God, behind everyone's mask is the same God, hiding behind them. It's the same God hiding because God is a trickster. God is a trickster. He's a shaman. It creates the illusion to put you to sleep. So now you're thinking that there is different people there, but there is no one else. It's only one. You are that. There's only one of us right now here communicating to itself. There's nobody outside of myself. There's 7 billion people on this planet, but not even one of these 7 billion people has its own free will or its own independence. All 7 billion people are being run by one spirit. One electricity is running all the appliances. One electricity is running all appliances. One living spirit is running all the units. These are units. Body, mind. It's got a mind and it's got a body. It's a unit, it's like a robot. And that spirit runs it, runs through it. So this dude doesn't have any kind of independence of itself to do anything, to do anything good or to do anything bad. It's a unit being powered by the source, by the oneness. So you start a practice of looking at everything as God, looking at everything as an extension of yourself. You have to make that practice and you have to do it every day. So it sets inside you. It sits, sits, you know, it settles in you. Not just for five minutes or 10 minutes, not just for today, I'm telling you these things and you say, oh, okay, blah, 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 blah. And then you don't do it. And then you come back to me and tell me, I really want to reach the higher, higher dimension. Well, you have to also do the work. If you really want to get to it and shift your consciousness, because it's an inside job. You have to change something inside yourself, not outside of you. 